Yeah. Have a great morning as well. Yes, the latest news updates from the morning edition. Mm. And of course, uh, talking about art, we've got a little bit of art happening right here in the studio. If you can focus That's a little bit right. lower. That's right. Look at now, this. We have like Iron Man masks. I'm sure a lot of kids out there would be thrilled to have this. And, you know, just a lot of <laughs> items here using mm. the technology of 3D printing. Exactly. This is made of plastic. And you can actually make one of these if you have the right machine. Yes. Seriously. Now keep watching because we have a 3D printer to give away. So, you know, if you have uh, nuts and bolts missing in the home, you can actually use this printer to print it out. Now, we're going to give a lot away because we have Iron Man in the house. Exactly. You can make your own stuff with this 3D <laughs> printing business. You want to find out how? Take a look at the story. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you for introducing this to me. I am Iron Man. Living his childhood dreams. We know of printing like printing on a piece of paper. But did you know there's a new dimension in printing called 3D printing? Which means you can manufacture a cup and be able to drink from it. So today, we're going to find out all about 3D printing and why 3D printers is fast becoming one of the coolest items to have in your home. 3D printing is actually a multi-purpose uh, manufacturing uh, machine on a desktop where you can literally produce anything that you could imagine. So for example, I have this a couple of minions and I know that a lot of people love these things. So how long does it take to make something like that in the machine? People with uh, 3D uh, digital file of uh, uh, a certain character, like for example, minion, 3D printer would do is convert the digital file into multiple layers. The printer will actually rebuild uh, the layer uh, one layer at a time from the bottom to the top and a physical object is actually formed. So how long does it take to produce these minions? 30 minutes. 30 minutes! Wow! How about, say for example, something like this? Whoa! A lot of boys would go for this. Now how long does it take to make something like this on a 3D printer? Um, we took almost uh, uh, a day, uh, uh, two days in fact. We actually sliced the file into multiple pieces. Uh, they are all together 16 pieces. So we used all this uh, 3D printer to print part by part. And uh, subsequently, we uh, sand it a bit. And uh, we used uh, adhesive glue to join them together. Then we apply some painting and out comes the Iron Man. You can actually make a lot of stuff using 3D printer, even things like jewelry. National Flower, have you heard of the hibiscus? It is pretty colorful. So, you know, do you have like three different threads or three different colors to produce this thing? We actually uh, uh, slice the file into multiple parts and uh, produce them separately. Then subsequently, uh, because uh, we have designed in such a way that it can actually be assembled. You can actually uh, start draw something and uh, produce something instantly. It's like a personalized item for yourself. Let's say uh, your kid is, uh, is having a birthday tomorrow and you want to surprise him with a special gift that nowhere else that you can find. Mm -hmm. You can start design something like a minion with his name underneath, you know, uh, and something nice and you can produce it at home instantly and the next day you surprise a kid with something. Another example is like if uh, a doorknob is actually broke, probably in the middle of the night some more and hey, you got to get the door rectified, right? So you probably will just jump to your PC station, start designing back the doorknob, you know, use some measure measuring tools, then click print and out comes the doorknob replacement in one or two hours. So 3D printers are pretty much a new thing here in Malaysia, but in countries like Australia and New Zealand, it's pretty much a norm. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, well, basically those uh, people uh, in New Zealand, Australia, and also those people in Europe and United States, they are more of a DIY kind of people. They love to do things, they are makers themselves. As uh, the technology continues to grow, I, I think it's time for us Malaysia, Malaysian here, to actually start to pick up you know, this type of uh, culture. And you know what, Owen? I am very impressed. And you know, I know what to get my friends this year for Christmas. That's all said. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Wow, talk about technology, hey? Yeah, that is absolutely awesome. So the thing is, I, I saw him scanning you. Yes. The, I mean, naughty flirt, naughty flirt, this guy <laughs> scanning you, you know. But do you print yourself? No, no, you could actually make something like a figurine. Oh, and, uh, you, you can scale your, scale, you yeah, can, you can scale yourself down? Yes. If you love yourself that much, that is. <laughs> you can make little mini models of yourself. You can make huge items like this. This is what I got surprised. You can make it in layers and then just join it up. And you have yourself your very own Eiffel Tower. Yeah. If you love yourself. That way. <laughs> <laughs> if you love iPhone towers that much. Now, uh, you can actually win yourself a 3D printer. Now, mm -hmm. this is a mini 3D printer. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is just basically answer this question in not more than 20 words. What will you plan to print in 3D mm. if given the chance? There you go. The most creative answer will win a 3D printer for your own use. Mm. Excellent stuff. Anything breaks around the house, hey, I'll just make a new one made out of plastic, but still. It's a new one. Yes, it's durable apparently. Very, so, very. Yeah. How durable is durable? It, I mean, the plastic's hard. pretty hard. Yes, I gotta it's say, hard. it's yeah. almost as hard as nuts. Nuts. Wood. Yeah. That's why I think you're thinking. But like, if you wanna uh, join this contest, do mm. send in your answers to. Mm -hmm. TBS at ntv7.com.my as fast as you can. Absolutely. And of course, more contests coming up your way. Take a look at this. But first up, uh, don't go away because coming up, let's talk about the situation in Syria and one brave Malaysian's effort to bring back news and of course, give a helping hand to the child refugees in Syria. Mm. Don't miss that.